Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here. You're in for a treat today because, in the words of Monty Python, now for something completely different. We're going rogue. Here she is in all of her glory. Yep, the Nissan Rogue. No, this is not Mike's car. I'm doing this for a friend that I work with, his air conditioner without. So we're going to fix something. But first, what in the, no, I know what that is. Look at that. This is the son of Satan right here. A lot of people are afraid of these things. Isn't that scary? Ooh, he's lost his shell, which means he's coming for you. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Yep, this is the car we're gonna fix the air conditioning on. But I'm really, really, really in luck because this is one of the easiest things that you can do for any car. Okay, once I get the hood open. Once I get the hood open. Okay, because, let's put this in the holder. There we go. That's the hole I was trying to find. Yep, we're looking for the air conditioning condenser, compressor, condenser here compressor there and look it's at the front of the engine it's easy to get out and you just need a minimum number of tools okay we're also going to uh, remove and replace the dryer right here we'll blow the system out and get him back because right now my friend Mike has no AC and a, I was gonna say a hot mic I don't want to say that a hot mic will get you in trouble that's MIC a hot microphone yeah that's caught me a couple of times so out with the old compressor and in with the new and we are going to be as cool as ever thanks nissan got my bag of tools i don't anticipate needing more than Let's say five tools. That's all we're gonna need for this, five tools, hopefully, okay? So, for the Nissan Rogue, they give you a little access point right here. Yep, this little box, this little cover right here comes off. These two are missing. I've already removed these two. It's just these little plastic containers right here, right there, a little plastic retainer. Yep, that comes out and that gives you access to everything that you need to do. Okay, so let's get those off and we will show you the accessibility. We're going to up our tool estimate. Someone's been under here before. Okay, this was one of those little plastic, plastic uh, retainer clips. Okay, just like all the others. That's different. That's different. Look, you got that one's different, that one's different, and that one's different. So this car has been worked on before. I want to show you the cutest oil filter I've ever seen in my whole life. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look how little. It's teeny tiny. It's a teeny little oil filter. Isn't that cool? Okay, we'll get this part removed. Okay, so I'm gonna add two, five, I'm gonna add seven. We're gonna need seven tools to fix this. On this car, particularly, just on this car, on other cars where these aren't fiddled with, it's gonna be fewer tools. All right. So with the fender pulled back, the inner fender, okay, pulled back, we're gonna start our tool count, okay? So we had a screwdriver, that's one, okay? This is your belt tensioner pulley right here. This is a 14 millimeter. We're gonna count that as two, okay? You twist that. The whole tensioner loosens up and you can put anything right there. I'm not counting that as a tool. That's just holding it steady, okay? Because you don't have to have that. Unless I come up with th four tools and I need another one, then we'll count that, okay? But, so with the belt tensioner relaxed, we can take this off. We're gonna make a careful note of how this goes. Okay, we're just gonna put it just like that around the cute little, there. All right, as a helicopter lands with somebody getting taken to the hospital, we're gonna show you how you can remove the uh, two hoses, okay? This goes into the compressor. This has already been evacuated, okay? The people that uh, my friend took this to wanted $1,200 to do this, and they evacuated the system. So anyway, 1,200 bucks, we're gonna save maybe $900. <laughs> and do this. Okay, so these are two tens. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna loosen this up. And then I'll show you the four bolts holding the uh, compressor. We've already undone the electrical plug and set that aside. So we'll get this part taken off. 
And then we'll move to the removal of the compressor. Okay, the bolts are actually 12s, so we're gonna add to the tool count. That's four, okay, all you have to do, two above, two below, and this is a long bolt. <laughs> Look how long that is. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay, so we'll put it right here with the other two. And we'll get the final bolt. And hopefully, this will come out without any issues. Not a big deal. Okay, we'll get the bolt removed and then we will show you how it comes out once Mike figures it out. Yep, just gotta figure that out. It should be easy to get to. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. Ugh. Come on, little girl. Come on out. Yep, 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 yep. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry about the camera work, and she's out. Look at that, she's out. We have the new one installed. Yep, there's a little bit of a difference, but the bolt that they sent me right there fits and holds it, okay? Instead of a post, I got a hole, but the bolt fit. So hopefully this is gonna work. Now what I wanna do is take this off to get to the dryer, because we're gonna replace the dryer as well, and then he'll be sitting nice and cool. So we have the front bumper almost disassembled right here. Okay, you have two clips right here and right here, and then lots of these little clips underneath that you get to kind of reach back behind, and I popped a hole in my thing here. Anyway, and push that out, okay? Undo this if you want, leave it hanging if you want. This is your dryer, this is your transmission cooler, this is your condenser. So what we're gonna do is move this to get to the bolt underneath here, and then I gotta bend this just a little bit to get back here and undo the switch right up on top of here. Okay, then we have the system open. We'll do this as quickly as possible. We'll replace it all. I think this is like an eight once I get it bent a little bit. Um, and then we'll be able to replace it, okay? Super easy. So far, not too difficult. We have the new dryer, new, old. We transferred the switch at the top. This is where the bolt goes in at the bottom. This is sealed, so everything is good. It's gonna dry and it's gonna be wonderful. Okay, so all we have to do now is wash, rinse, and repeat. Okay, so it just simply goes right in here. Button it up, put the eight millimeter there, the 10 millimeter there, connect the switch, button everything back up, and we are good to go. Super easy. Oh, also replace the O-rings. We do have new O-rings. Yep, 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 yep. How about that? Is that not a gorgeous dryer? Isn't she lovely? Yep, she is lovely. So we push this back. We tighten the 10 mil under here. There's a little, there's a bracket that holds these two uh, hoses, okay, from the condenser all up into here. Okay, we got the switch. Everything is locked down. Yuck, 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 yucky fingernails. Sorry about that. And everything is buttoned up. Okay, so now we get to test the system. So that means we're going to evacuate the system. Yep, the system's gonna take a big old poop. No, we're gonna hook up a gauge set right here, low pressure, high pressure, okay? Never fill with high, you'll kill yourself. Ha! Low pressure. We're gonna evacuate the system. I, I have an AC pump, and we're going to turn it on and let it run for about 45 minutes. Make sure we have no leaks in the system. And if it is good, then we fill it up with Freon. And if you wanna see how much you need, it's just right up here. Right up there, see? We need 1.11 pounds. So I'll get my little calculator out, turn that into ounces, and that's how much we put back into the system. The uh, compressor came with oil already in it. So we should be good to go, okay? Let's evacuate. It looks worse than it actually is. Yeah, that's what I told my friend. <laughs> but look, we have a vacuum, and it has been running for about an hour. I have the gauges. We're kind of watching to make sure that they do not uh, go down any. They have not in the past uh, 15 minutes. So we'll give it another 30, 45 minutes to make sure that they don't uh, lose vacuum. So we don't have a system leak, which is great. And then basically all we do is we take that line, we attach it to this, and we put 1.1 pounds of Freon R134A into the system. And then we give it a test. She's a running. And she's a coolin'. Yes. This is cold. Brrr. Yeah. Okay. 
So the system doesn't hold a whole lot of uh, R134A, aka, well, old school Freon. Yeah. 1.11 pounds, which is like 16, 17 ounces if I remember right. Okay. So we are just kind of watching the gauges right there, which is really good. So I've got about one can in, and so I just need to add a little bit more, and we should be good to go. The only thing, it's making a weird sound, but I don't know if that's from the car or from this compressor, so we're gonna kind of play it by ear. There's the fans. The fans have come on, which is good. The compressor is cycling. See how this is spinning, the clutch on the outside? Yeah, that's spinning now that we've reached uh, enough pressure. So all is good. Now all I have to do is button it back up. And once again, look at the little cutie, 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 cutie little oil filter. That is hilarious. Okay, you knew this was coming, didn't you? Lola did. She's over here ready for it. Yep, you knew this was coming. I cannot resist. We're going to tag a vehicle right here, right now. And he's going to love it. He's going to love it. We're going to put it right here. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him about it. I'm just gonna see if he notices. <laughs> Best looking sticker around. Love it, love it, love it. That, my friends, is how you fix the dad gum air conditioning problem. Yep, it is blowing so cold. Mikey likes, Mikey likes a lot. Okay, I know it's not a Mercedes. I know it's not a BMW. This is probably a little more instructional than other videos, not so entertaining, but I thought I'd do one just to see if anybody likes the Nissan Rogue. They're nice cars. Gets good gas mileage. He gets them to and from work and his family likes it. That's all that's necessary. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, we still have the Monkey Wrench Mike stickers. We got this kind. Ooh, I got some battle scars from the SEC. Okay, and we have this kind, just the circular. So, if you want to cash at me, three bucks for one, five for two. Sometimes I send three, sometimes I send four. Then please do so, right here. The bins. No, it's just Ben's Guy 99. Yeah, Ben's Guy 99. And be sure to include your address. Okay, I'm getting all kinds of uh, requests with no address. So please give me an address and I'll get those out the door. This goes international too. I bought some international stamps. So we'll get those out there. You knew that was going to happen, right? You knew that was going to happen. Give me a kiss. Thank you. And now you know this is going to happen too. Yeah, there's another one right here. Look, I got two dogs fighting for attention. Yep, there you go. Yep. You're the love of my life. And you're okay too. You're okay too. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, legend, Lola. Love it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing. We're getting close to 20,000. We're going to do that hopefully sometime this month. August. That's the goal. 20,000 by the end of August. It was the goal for the end of June. We didn't make it. So we're going to try for August. Because i got to crank these videos out. Yep. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And for the Nissan Rogue. Yeah. Bye, everybody.